Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. Ratios are commonly displayed as fractions. So they do give us a total of 840. So that's going to be very important, 840. So then we need to find a true statement. Well, let's figure out if we can put some numbers because one third for a turkey sandwich doesn't really help us. So we need to figure this out as a ratio one third of our total of 840. And when we think of one third of 840, whenever we see that of, that gives us a clue that we need to multiply. So one third times 840, and you can multiply fractions if they're both fractions, and any number could be turned into a fraction if it's a whole number, as long as you put it over one. So one third times 840 over one, which really just gets us 840 divided by three, or 840 over three, because you multiply straight across with fractions. So let's just divide up this three into 840, and see what we get here. So three goes into eight, two times, that's gonna be six. Bring down one number, goes in there eight times, that's 24, and that's nothing, but we still need that zero, 280. So we have 280 people that want the turkey sandwich. That's helpful, we can use that. Let's see if we can do that with the sixths. One sixth times 840 over one is going to equal 840 over six. So let's see if we can do that. That's going to be once. And that's going to look pretty good. Six goes into 24 four times. And we're going to bring this zero down one more time, 140, which does make sense. Because, guys, if you do 1 sixth plus 1 sixth, you're going to get 2 sixths, which is equal to 1 third. So 1 sixth is actually half of 1 third, and 140 is half of 280. That makes sense. Now, the 4 fifteenths, that's going to be a little bit trickier. 4 fifteenths times the 840 over 1. So now we've got to do 8. 40 times 4, 16, that's 3, 360, and that's going to be divided by 15. Good gracious. Let's see what that looks like. 15, 3, 360, that's going to be 2, that's 30. 36, that's going to be 2 again, and that's going to be 4. At least it goes in evenly. 224. Let's do the same thing with 7 thirtieths. 7 thirtieths times 480 over 1. So now I've got to do my 480 times 7. 0, that's 56. 28, and that's going to be 33. So I've got 3360 divided by this 30. So that's going to give you 3. And let's see, and that's going to give you 6, so at least that's even as well. So 112, so good gracious, look at all of that work we did. Now we're ready to look at our statements at the bottom. Have as many people ate turkey as ate a vegetarian. Actually, that's incorrect. Twice as many people. If you would have said twice, you would have been fine. Your turkey is 280, your vegetarian is 140. So just wrong number. One-fourth as many people ate a vegetarian as ate a salad. Let's see, vegetarian is 140, salad is 112. Uh, I'm not going to do the math, but that's wrong. 56 more people ate turkey than chicken. 56 people ate turkey than chicken, 280. And 224, that's looking pretty good, yeah. 20 more people ate a salad than a chicken. Salad is 112. Chicken is 224. Now they eat less. So my answer is C.